Hi guys, Tech James here. So I get this question all the time. People say on my videos, I've got a PSP, I just bought one, and it has a really old firmware on, but it has custom firmware installed. So if you guys didn't know, it's really risky updating to 6.61 if you already have some kind of custom firmware installed. Now the firmware might be permanent, it might not be. Um, this PSP right here has got 6.21 Pro um, B9 custom firmware. So a pretty old custom firmware, it's pretty much irrelevant now. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to get rid of your old custom firmware, update it to 6.61, and install a firmware of choice. Um, so if you you guys have a firmware just like this you can go ahead and look in your system information make sure you just have a look at your firmware because what we need to do is we need to find the original firmware files so when I go onto my computer I will be searching the internet to find these 6.20 official firmware files so what we have to do is just back out of this and um, you can always just check on your memory card so if I go onto my memory stick you can see here we have got some of the old firmware files and a corrupted data folder so I don't know what this is but we will be deleting all of these later so let's scroll over, let's go up to USB connection, press X, go and connect your PSP to your PC and I will be showing you guys what to do from there. So over on our computer, make sure our PSP is connected and it should come up like this. What we have to do is go ahead and open up an internet browser of choice. And from here, what we have to do is find our PSP firmware. So I used Brewology. You can pretty much find this from any website. You just need to type in PSP firmware and then whatever your firmware is. Mine happened to be 6.20 and I managed to find it the official 6.20 firmware files. So make sure you find the official, not custom firmware. Brewology is a pretty good place to go ahead and find them. I believe there is a whole PSP firmware section somewhere on here. So what we want to do from here is just go ahead and just click on download file and I'm just going to download my firmware file. So once we've got this downloading there is actually something else we have to get. We have to get the Chrono Switch downgrader. What this lets us do is downgrade our PSP from the custom firmware to the official firmware. So we are going to go and get that as well. Here is the Chrono Switch downgrader. This is version 7.0. Just click on download now and that will begin downloading as well. So once we've got both of these files we need to go to our downloads folder and just find them in there. So here are mine. Um, here is the Chrono Switch downgrader, and here is my PSP update. First of all, get the update file, right click and select extract here. It's going to give us a file just like this called eboot.pbp. We can go ahead and delete the zip file. So right click on the blank space, new folder, and just call it all in capitals. Just call it update just like this. Then get your eboot file and drag and drop that inside of the update folder. Next, just select the Chrono Switch downgrader, right click, and we need to select Extract to Chrono Switch 7.0. Um, once you do that, it's going to put it into a nice file folder for you. So what we have to do, select both of these, right click and copy, go onto our PSP, which will probably come up into this B drive. So go into PSP and game. And from here, just do right click and paste. If there are any files, you can replace them because these are, you know, brand new. So let's just wait for these to copy across. And there you go. We've got Chrono Switch and our 6.20 update. So let's go back onto our PSP. Let's install the original firmware. And then I will show you guys what to do from there. So now we are back again with our brand new files. We can press press circle to close out of this message. And what we have to do from here is just go onto our memory stick and we will be able to find these things. So just go onto it, press X. We are looking for this one right here, the Chrono Switch Downgrader. You should also find your update on here. It should come up exactly like this, PSP update. So let's go ahead and press X to launch up the Chrono Switch Downgrader. Your custom firmware should be running. If it isn't, you can go ahead and open up the Pro Update or whichever custom firmware you've got because obviously this video could be different for everyone. But let's go ahead and launch up the Chrono Switch Downgrader. So what this should do is actually just let you downgrade your firmware. Now for me, it's saying firmware error. I think this is because um, my firmware isn't actually permanent. So I thought it was, um, but it's not actually permanent. I must have just run the pro update. So what I'm going to do just to check this is power off my PSP completely, then power it back on and then check out the settings. It's probably worth doing this as well. So let's just hold the power button just to completely turn it off and then just wait a few seconds when it's powered off. And then once we've left it, um, you can just go ahead and turn it back on. 
So once it's powered on again, let's go over to the system settings again. Let's go down to the system information. And as you can see, it's just normal 6.20. So I guess I got lucky on that one. Now, if yours is permanent, you can just downgrade it. Um, what you do is just open the Corona Switch downgrader like I did and just press X to downgrade it. It's pretty simple. Okay, so now what we can do is go ahead and connect our PSP back over to our PC. So let's scroll over. Let's go to the USB connection. Let's go ahead and press X. Now, just make sure your firmware um, is not custom firmware as well. So when I went into the system settings and system information, make sure it's just normal like version 6.20 6.30 whatever it is just make sure it's normal like that so let's go back to USB connection let's go and connect this to our PC and I will show you guys what to do next back on our computer again but this time we need to go into PSP game and we can basically just delete everything in here so if you want to back anything up it's entirely up to you you can drag and drop it somewhere on your computer i'm going to press the delete key and yes and we're just going to get rid of all of our update files and stuff like that obviously if you have games and stuff on yours that you want to keep make sure you back everything up it's entirely up to you if you want to delete everything uh, don't delete everything and then blame it on me because you know it's entirely up to you but once you've got it blank or you've deleted what you want to make sure you delete all those update files and stuff like that we just need to go to the links in the description Description. This is the official Sony website from here. We need to scroll down and just quick agree and download. This is the official 6.61 update file. Um, so it's up to you what you want to update to. I think 6.61 is probably the best in at this point and that is the last update ever. Um, now we want to go to the next link in the description. This is the 6.61 Pro C2 custom firmware. Now again, you can get a custom firmware of your choice. This is the one I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to click on download and it's going to download this zip file. So once we've got these two down downloads go to our downloads folder and find both of them again right click new folder just call it update all in capitals this is where we can put our eboot.pvp folder and then get this right click and just select extract here so what we have to do from here is get update and drag and drop it into the PSP folder just like that. Go into it and now drag and drop it into the game folder. Next go back to your downloads and we need to basically copy these both onto the root of our PSP. So select both of them and just drag and drop them onto the USB drive part. Now just wait for this to copy across, it should not take too long. This is the 6.61 update and the 6.61 custom firmware. So wait for these to copy and once it's done let's go back onto our PSP again and we can set this up. So now we are back on our PSP again. What we can do is scroll over to the game section and go onto our memory stick and we can find the update version 6.61. We can also find all the 6.61 custom firmware files. So go ahead and press X on the update. Um, from here, we can update our PSP to the latest version really easily. Now make sure you do not have a custom firmware on your PSP when you're updating to this. Obviously we do not want it bricked. Um, so yeah, let's just let this thing update. And then I'll be back when it's done. It might take a while. Um, so, you know, I'll just wait for it to finish. So you will eventually get to this screen. Just press X on start. Um, just agree to all of the settings and information and stuff like that. So just scroll along. Agree. Accept that one. Um, X. And now it's going to start installing. So, as I said, it might take a few minutes. Let's just wait for it. And I will be back when this is done. It also does recommend plugging into power if your battery is low. Um, unfortunately, I can't right now. But, yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to complete. So when it has finished, we're going to get to this screen that says update completed. Press the X button to restart. So we're going to go ahead, press the X button to restart our whole PSP. And when it restarts, we can go through the setup screen and then we can get the custom firmware working. Okay, so here we are. What we can do is scroll over, go onto our system settings. Um, and let's just check the system information. And there you go, a version of 6.61. Our PSP is now on the latest firmware. I'm just going to change the color of the theme because um, this gray is actually really annoying. So there you go. Oops, let's just put it on blue. So now what we're going to do, we're going to scroll up. We're going to go over to our memory stick. And what we can do from here is actually install the Pro Custom Firmware. So I'm just going to install the basic version, which is this. I'd recommend as well. Um, not all PSPs can support um, the full, like, permanent version. So I'm just going to get this one right here. So press X on the update part. And then what we can do is go ahead and install this. So just press X to launch the custom firmware. It's then just going to load like this. Press X to restart. And there you go. Your PSP is now updated to the latest version. 
and it has the latest version of the basic custom firmware. If you wish to install Infinity custom firmware, I have a whole tutorial for that over on my channel and um, we can just quickly check these system settings, but we should be all good to go. So that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to check out my channel for all PSP related content. I also have an Instagram if you guys wish to follow that and see what I look like. So that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.